Hello, Kyle here. Um, I know it's been a while. Uh, there's been some things going on, you know. I uh, won't we'll, we'll go into detail about that. But, uh, th no, this is not a Transformers review. Uh, this is sort of one of the things that I was put I've was i been putting together a little bit with my spare time. Uh, the little spare time that I actually have. But uh, I'm going to show you how to make a special Lego gun that I put together randomly and out of complete and utter boredom. Uh, this is what I call a sort of fast action plasma revolver sort of thing. Uh, I just put this together because I was really bored. I had all these Legos, hadn't been touched in a long time, so I built this out of boredom. Now what's cool about this is that you can see this right here, it looks like it's hiding something, right? Now when I hold it like this, and I gotta pop this loose without breaking it, and I just did. Um, ah, damn. Hang on. Pop this off, you gotta bring the whole barrel down, and you bring this back. Yes, I'm still here. Uh, sorry, I have my brother on here. Uh, I'm play actually, I'm playing World of Warcraft right now, but I thought I'd do this real quick. And it basically folds it all apart, sort of like a, a revolver could be. And that little triangle thing there is a little charge I made. And you can just pop that out. And it's just three, three bricks. It's a flat brick on the top, a uh, two by one brick on the bottom, and a triangle brick. But, uh,. And you can just put that in there, sort of like if you're messing around, you can just make it so you're hurrying up putting it in, and then you put this down and that up, you lock it, and bang, put a little nice barrel there. And I'm actually going to show you real quick how I made this. Um, I actually have another barrel I made, I'll show, you. I'll, put the, I'll show you how to put that on in a second. But uh, you, I made this so you can take it apart, fold this down, I usually take this out push it down and basically it comes off. And that's the hinge. It's just a single hinge. It attaches to that on the end. It's very, 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 very fragile. Whenever I bring it down, I have to be very careful because it easily come off. Uh, this is more of, I'm figuring out a way to fix that, but for now it'll do. And basically there's the barrel. Um, the way I made this barrel is back part I made it so it's all it's the width is two it's two sections which you, you can see clearly see and uh, the way that this is made is there's basically you can make it any way you want you can don't have to have anything on the bottom here but uh, basically how I made this is that there's a, the bottom part here there's three sectors or it's a four it's a four by two here you can make it any length you want. So make sure there's four by two here. Bring it up to where there's one, and then make sure there's a whole brick here. Just make sure that uh, it's two bricks high from the black black plate, as you can see. And you can just put that here as the little hinge. Bring it down, and you can make the barrel however you want. Uh, I made it the same way this way. As you can see, it's it's the same exact thing, just different design. Um, that how I made the handle. The handle can be out however it wants, however you want it to be. Just make sure that you have a, a, a lip in here, a little, a little square in here, for when it comes down, so that there's no interference. So I just make sure that uh, there's just one whole brick. It can be of whatever you want, and make sure it has a clean hinge. I'll just take this off real quick. It's a clean hinge. There's just a single hinge to clean. Make sure that it's three bricks, it's a whole brick high. A whole brick high, that's all you need. This little thing here is just to stop the thing from going back. You know what I mean? And you can make it make it any way you really want to. Just make sure that it looks like this. And I usually put a flat brick here to prevent it from to keep it in place so it doesn't go down too far. And with this, it's just the little two hinges, two little hand hinges and make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight length, eight, eight sectors in length. 
eight by it's eight by two basically. And then you use uh, those uh, special little things that make you go a little uh, ninety degree angle side thingies. I'm sure you can tell what I'm talking about. It's where it has two. It's two sectors there, and the inside and the top, and it's four on the side with the hollow points in there. And then you just put a panel about this size. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by four sector panel. And you just pop it on the side. You can put like things on the side to make it look fancy and whatnot. And this piece right here is just so that it'll stop a little at this angle. And then once you actually get that put together, you just pop this on the hinge here. Pop. Actually, I'm going to use the other barrel I made. It's sort of a SMG barrel. I only have one of these, so pop this on there, and then bring it into there. Then you, this this is what I call a charge. It's like a small battery. Um, it's basically a triangle piece with a flat piece, a flat two by one. It could be any two by one. I just use a little girl piece, and then a two by one on the bottom. And then you just put it into place right there. The reason it's triangle is so that it interferes. And those little two pieces in there are just a little thing I added. You don't actually have to have them. It just makes it a little more solid. And then you just bring this down, bring this up. That's a little. Sometimes it you gotta wiggle it to get it in place because I have just two little yellow pieces. It prevents it from falling apart. Um, and it's not working for me right now. That's why I put it on the wrong. And, uh, I put it all on right. Um, there we go. There we go. I got it. And then you just pop it all down. And then bang, bang, bang. It's, it's a very nice little design. Um, I wanted to, I was trying to come up with a revolver or something that popped out, but I ended up making it so it pops up. But it's very nice. I love it. Uh, I'm not going to be taking this thing apart anytime soon. Uh, I might make some modifications to it. Like, the big flaw. Single hinge. And it's not very solid. If I do this too much comes off and how I usually reload it I reload it like this and if I move it jerk it around too much it just falls off basically but let's put the charge in fold it up and got a, a plasma revolver sort of thing me and a friend of mine are making a video game I will not say what it is but we're making a video game with blender and I'm this probably this is going to be one of the weapon designs. It's not. It's going to look a lot nicer than this. It's going to look realistic, not like Legos. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a first-person shooter. But uh, yeah, just little shots of the barrel. I sort of tried to make the barrel. I'm going to be replacing some of the pieces as I get new ones, just so it look a little nicer, not like it's made out of Legos, especially with the handle. Uh, I actually have gold Lego pieces, those little glossy gold Lego pieces. Uh, I might put those down the barrel, the middle of the barrel length. But uh, yeah, you can make, I'd say this is a good design for anybody who likes playing with Lego guns or if they don't have a good gun to play with like up with their friends, you can make this. It's very, it's fairly solid. I mean, if you drop it on the ground, like if the barrel falls off, it won't shatter into a million pieces. It might shatter into two pieces. But uh... This is Kyle here, Kyle likes Pi 665, uh, and I am signing out. I will have another video up soon, hopefully. Goodbye.